welcome to this powerful leadership meeting and the message is so powerful in the sense that you will learn many things to grow your christian life and to grow other people around you i want you to sit back as you listen to apostle jesua shama and if you have not subscribed to this channel do so and also share with one another because this message is loaded by god for you for this very hour God bless you as you sit back to watch it and listen to God's voice through his servant. My spiritship, let's talk a bit about it. What exactly is leadership? For many people, leadership means someone who is ahead, directing people. That may not be entirely wrong, but that's not absolutely correct. Leadership is beyond titles. Leadership is beyond the one who is ahead of others. The whole idea of leadership, you see, is about deploying the grace and the investment of God upon your life and using it to serve so effectively that your results compel people to grant you a gift called loyalty. Are we together now? So the idea of leadership in its essence has nothing necessarily to do with leading people. Leading people is only the latter aspect of leadership. Are we learning now? That leadership in its essence has to do with excelling in your own life and using all the resources that has been given to you by God to so excel that your life and your results become so compelling. It becomes so compelling that people come to join you and they willingly want to adopt your ideas and your philosophies. They give you a gift called loyalty. So you see that for many people, when we talk about a leader, the first thing they are looking for is where are the followers? Where are the people who should follow me as proof that I'm a leader? While it is true that if you are a leader indeed, you will never be alone. Someone must be inspired by your life enough to want to become part of your life. Are we together? But the whole idea is not about people. People are the latter part. The disciples did not just follow Jesus because he called them. They followed him because they saw a man excelling in his life. He excelled in a way that was unusual. Are we learning now? And because of the kind and the quality of excellence that was meted out by his life, when he called them, they saw it as a pleasure to join him. I mean, who would leave a fishing business to join a man just because he said, follow me? It would take more than beckoning on a man to follow me. There was a level of results that they saw in his life. The excellence, the power, the grace. And when he told them, follow me, they were so glad. Because men will always want to be part of what works. Nobody will want to be part of a failed system. Hallelujah. Unfortunately, because most people do not know that leadership depends on the leader's personal excellence first. We are more titled conscious and so all we want to do is to accumulate as many followers. Listen to me carefully because you will know why your church is not growing. Your church is not growing because you are focused on looking for members rather than becoming a true picture of what God has called the believer to be. Are you seeing that now? That a preacher comes and all that is in his mind is how can I grow this church as we say from 30 members to 200 members and all he's focused on doing is studying all the publicity skills you will never grow a church that way no and believe me i know what i'm saying people follow inspiration people follow what looks like a revelation of what they should become are we together now most leaders in africa fail because they are follower conscious they are not conscious of evolving becoming more superior versions of themselves deploying their giftings to serve in such a way that becomes compelling for followership followership was supposed to be a reaction not a call followership was supposed to be a reaction remember we prayed before we started this this and I took the journey very slowly so that when we start now, you will understand. Isn't it amazing? This should be a paradigm shift for someone already. 
The next time you say, where are my members? You ask the wrong question. Why am I not an inspiration enough? That's the right question. Why, I, why is the anointing not speaking enough? The wisdom not speaking enough? Because the Bible says where the carcasses are, it says there the eagles will gather. So if there are people, I don't know the, 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 um, the number of people in Enugu state, but if there are this many people in Enugu state and the southeast, and nobody is interested in coming to see your business or your ministry, don't blame them. They are not mad people. They have intelligence, but they want to pursue what reflects their aspiration. And if you are not a motivation enough, they will not follow. Hallelujah. My dear people, did you ever meet Zuckerberg as a person? Did he ask you to become part of Facebook? Did you ever meet Elon Musk as a person? Did he ask you to be part of Twitter and all of these, his products? All these men are focused on doing is evolving. And the moment they evolve, you are compelled to even follow their advancement. You want to know what is the latest without them asking you because their lives have become such an inspiration. This is the correct idea of leadership. True leaders never even know they are leaders until they find out they are leaders. Because they are focused on building. They are focused on growing. They are focused on evolving. This is true for a man of God. My God, I hope you did not miss what you just heard. That leadership has nothing necessarily to do with looking for followers. A leader who goes around looking for followers has failed. That is a burden God did not give you. No. We look for souls, not followers. Followers were designed to respond to a kind of transition, a kind of believer that you become. Ladies and gentlemen, if you hear right now that Bill Gates or any of the leaders in the secular has arrived Enugu, whether you are invited or not, you will be surprised that as calculated as you are, you will find yourself there hanging around the corridors of where he is. Not because he will talk to you, not because he knows you are there, but someone has arrived that represents an inspiration in some way. Am I, are we right on that? Nobody has ever asked Zuckerberg to say you are a small boy. He talks with kings and presidents and they greet him like colleagues. Because his, his results has added to his age. Are we together? When people begin to ask things like how old are you? You are a small child. They are only telling you it's a subliminal way of saying your life is not compelling enough. Now here's what we teach. So I am a pastor, right? And I want to run a church. And all that I do is, please, can you help me with 200,000 to produce posters, to produce, uh, and then I lie down on the posters and roll around and pray and say, God, you know you called me. And we go around. I just meet someone by the road and say, listen, you need to come to my church. You have no idea what you are going to get. Look at that kind of burden. When such a member comes to your church, do you know you just invited trouble? Because you will have to dance to their tune. How about businesses? There are certain parts that, have you, have you seen certain products that are only sold in just one or two stores? And well, this is a business area, so I'm not sure. Everybody sells everything. I'm, I'm not sure. But there are times where you can go around only to find. And sometimes you will hear that the man locked the door and went to sleep. You will look for the man's house and say, sir, I need to travel. This spare part, they, they say you are the only one. Listen, if you listen to what I'm sharing with you. You walk out of this place, you will never have to walk alone again. Because you will find out that something about your life, you will soon be learning that competence has a presence. It can invite the people mandated to look for you. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Absolutely, it does. Na, 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 na. 
Are we together? So leadership. Please hear me. Whether you're a campus president, whether you're a pastor here, when you become member conscious, follower conscious, huh? you have already ruined your potential for effective leadership. Do you know why God did not give you eyes at the back? If God gave you eyes at the back, it will be a corruption of his desire for you to go forward. The only way to turn back is when all of you has to turn back. You see that now? I can reach my hand without turning back. But if I have to turn back, a major part of me has to turn back. Because it is rather a once in a while thing. It should not be your default state to always turn back. So every other thing was, do you notice that you are more at peace when you are moving forward than backward? God designed it that way as a message. That we are supposed to always be going forward. The path of the just being as a shining light that goes more and more even unto the perfect day. So have this at the back of your mind, ladies and gentlemen. That looking for members, looking for followers is a poor approach to leadership. That leadership is about rediscovering yourself taking advantage of all the forces of advantage that God has given you and to use it to live such a dexterous life that on the strength of your results, your results become so compelling for everybody around your area. It becomes impossible for them to ignore your presence. As a result, on their own accord, they come and want to follow you. We call that loyalty. They give you the gift of loyalty and on your own part, we call it influence. Now they allow you to influence them. What does it mean to influence? To influence means to compel men to buy into your ideologies without using force or cruelty. I have influenced you if I can get you to think along this line without putting a knife on your throat. So that your life now becomes a product of these philosophies. Hmm. Are we learning? Yes. This idea of leadership changed my life and gave me peace. Because when you become member and follower conscious, you will never be able to allow succession. There are many consequences to the prior belief there as you'll be learning there are many wrong mindsets that african and sadly nigerian leaders have that's why there is no continuity you do you hardly find hundred year old businesses in nigeria and africa because of their idea of leadership you see that now yes blessed be the name of the lord From, from a governance standpoint, leaders have three assignments. When I say governance, that means having to do with people and resource management. You understand what I mean now? Yes. From a standpoint of people and resource management, leaders have three mandates. Let me give it to you. Number one. The first mandate of any leader with respect to people now is to harness and coordinate potentials. Please write. To harness and to coordinate potentials. What does it mean to harness? Please pay attention. Especially if you're a minister of the gospel. This is a revelation that God is going to bring for you now. The way God sends people to your life, your church, he never sends people in their perfected state yet. To harness means to see potential. To harness means to have the faculty of discernment. Are we together now? Yes. If not, you will reject the greatest gift God gave you simply because he did not come in a form that can be appreciated. I can tell you this. Any leader will tell you that the people you now celebrate in his or her life, if you had seen them when they came, 
you will not want to receive them as a gift now this quality of leadership many people do not have we usually want to see ready-made people i want to see a millionaire they hear they say you are a billionaire please you are welcome to my church whereas there are five other potential billionaires who can be eternal support if you are willing to see their destiny in christ and then to laboriously raise them listen from a governance standpoint you are not a leader if you lack discernment is the reason why every man of god your the next 10 20 years of your church is not in view if you cannot see those that will serve now even when they've not seen themselves the person may think i'm an usher but you are seeing your next prayer leader even though he does not yet know that is leadership leaders see far ahead through the faculty of discernment that someone as he's answering the altar call you are looking at that young lady and you can see you can see through her and see her heart that this will be one of the most effective secretary in this ministry that is why when you see the way leaders raise people it takes knowing god and trusting them to really know what they are doing you know that a leader is effective because he will not make sense for a long time are we together leaders are more of people of vision than logic and when logic conflicts with vision they drop logic and embrace vision there are people today in my life and in ministry as at the time i saw them you would never believe some of these people were cultists we're not even talking of a backslider we are talking of a cultist like real cultist but you can see that a mighty champion for the kingdom can come out of it i'm saying this because the reason why some of you are at this point in your life is because you have been looking for finished products you have you have not had the ability to harness many parents today are biting their fingers in regret because had they seen the destiny of their children they would not call them the names they called them before now the child you said will never rise has become a champion and you are saying it's my child and he said you are not my mother my mother is not the one who gave birth to me it's the one who believed in me today many people are claiming a stake in destinies they did not invest in because they did not have the opportunity are, are we together now yes with all due respect, I can say this since it's a leadership meeting. There are pastors who fight claiming members and say, this person is my person. No. The person knows who is their pastor. The person who believed in them and invested in them. Are we together? Not the person who knew them before they rose. If you met me hungry and you say, remember, I used to know you. So what? What did you do about my hunger? The one who saw me hungry and saw that if I'm filled and drag me and help me that is the person i'll become loyal to do you know why there is a generation that is disloyal to god and disloyal to parents and all of that because we have lost the ability to harness just because the child is stubborn does not mean the call is not on his life do you have can you pay the price of harnessing Are we together? Just because the lady is a village girl does not mean she will remain in Shushan forever. Be careful so that you don't insult Esther. She will be queen one day. Just because Ruth lost her husband and children, I hope you know that Boaz is in her destiny. So be careful as you throw her away. Just because Naomi is a quiet widow, don't throw her away. She may be the only person to tell you what to do about Boaz. The ability to harness. Listen, I'm saying this because this grace must come on somebody. That you can stand in Enugu and look around. And you will see rubble somewhere. And God will say, buy that land. Just buy it. The ability to harness is an extension of the spirit of discernment. If you have this, you will own the future. You will not follow you will literally know that the next 10 years I've, I've talked to you about my story many of you here you may have listened to my teaching this was when they were selling cds you know when they sell cassettes and cds 
and the lord told me that in the future it will be difficult to buy cds and all of that because technology will take over and he said carry your messages put it online my angel will send it to the nations this is how i will announce you the ability to harness how many people had the intuition to start a particular business but they said ah, this thing is too hard what you call pure water today what they what they call it here pure water yeah? still water you know what i'm talking about once upon a time leather leather that you produce here yeah, ice water thank you and you wrap the thing and then ice it the person buys the ice and is patient until it defrosts remember it now but someone looked and said no 